What's the scariest thing that's happened while you were home alone? It was like 1 or 2 in the morning, and I was watching TV in my room. Out of nowhere I heard a loud crashing boom sound. I woke up my dad and told him something must have hit the side of the house since my room vibrated it a little. We went outside and saw nothing. The only problem was my cat was on the roof, and we have no idea why or how she went up there. We got her down and took her inside. I still don't know what happened. A car illegally parked under my bedroom window in a dark alley when I was living in the bad part of MTL. The cops told me they'd get it towed as it offered a perfect way to easily climb through my window. They didn't act fast enough and that same night I heard a sound while in the living room. I glanced down the hall to my bedroom and could clearly see a guy crawling through the window. I grabbed a frying pan from the counter and hit him straight in the face with it. He fell back onto the car roof and ran away. The police didn't find him. And I moved. Raccoon crawled in my chimney, broke the ceiling, looked at me and hissed. I opened my room door and let it downstairs and opened the front door. It ran into the street and then tripped, looking like fucking Sonic. My mom was convinced we had a raccoon from hell stomping around on the roof. She had a cold so she was sleeping in her recliner for a few nights to breathe and she kept getting woken up to something running around on the roof. Dad checked, but there were no hidey holes so it must be living somewhere else and going on the roof in the night. Turned out to be my sister's lab. It was winter and snow had piled up behind the garage and she climbed it and would chase cats and squirrels. I lived alone in an apartment on the second floor. One night at about 2 a.m. I wake up to the sound of shattering glass. I go and look out the window, and there's a guy trying to break in downstairs. The person who lived in that apartment was in her 80s and totally blind. I called 911 in a total panic and watched the guy run off into the woods. But the scariest part for me was that I had taken Ambien and was convinced the guy was Charles Manson. The police caught the guy. He went to jail. The lady was in the hospital at the time. This was something that startled me more than terrified me. I went into my garage to get something when suddenly, I hear this commotion in the corner, next to my tools. I went over to investigate and shuffled the tools a bit, and then almost shit myself. A bunch of bunnies darted from underneath the tools and ran in different directions all over the garage. I almost had a heart attack. I opened the garage's door and they all managed to scatter and find their way outside. This obviously can't match up to what most people have posted here, but it really spooked me at the time. In university, one night my friends all went out partying and I stayed at home because I was broke. A few minutes after taxis picked up the guests, the letterbox was banged a few times. Me, being upstairs, ignored it, assuming it was somebody messing around, I lived in a student area, it wasn't uncommon. Five minutes after that, there were five massive bangs at the door. I screamed and ran downstairs to see our front door hanging wide open. Called the police, apparently there had been a spate of break-ins that week and the letterbox banging was to check if someone was in who would come outside. Shook me right to my core, that did. I woke up to my stalker in my bed, just watching me sleep. I screamed and she jumped through my bedroom window which had been opened by her. She was caught, and I very quickly and discreetly moved after that. I put my nine-month-old son to bed, went to the living room, and turned on the baby monitor. As soon as it comes on I see a dude hunched over his crib. I guess when I turned it on it loaded the image from when it was last on, which was me bending over the crib. The image was only on the screen for one second while it updated, but I nearly shit myself in that one second. This just happened to me just last week. I was talking on the phone while laying across the couch with my head in the arm of the couch. It was completely dark outside. There's a window not a foot behind my head. Someone came up to the window and knocked hard four times on it. Of course I screamed like a banshee. I ran like an idiot to lock everything up, and then I checked outside to find nothing. Our cameras caught nothing. 
Turns out they also broke into my car, which was out of sight of the cameras. I've come to wonder if they were going to break into the house only to hear a shrieking person on the other side. Heavy storming while I was at home by myself knocked out the power, and I opted to sleep on my upstairs couch instead of my room because my walls are painted dark colors, so when it's pitch black you can't see your hand in front of your face. My upstairs couch faces the staircase connecting the up and downstairs parts of the house. I'm eyeing at the stairs for hours when I hear a faint female voice. I didn't know what it said, but it continued talking almost as if it was having a conversation, but very sporadic. It stopped after about two hours, and I went to sleep at some point. Woke up and investigated my house, turns out it was our Alexa asking to be reconnected. Police breaking in at about 2 a.m. when I was asleep after a prank call from someone. I am shit scared of someone breaking in so you can imagine my horror seconds before they came into my bedroom, seeing two plus torchlights shining under my door as I woke from the sound of them creeping up the stairs.